Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm just going to pop together a cityscape using the H Ultimate hot plate. I've got a silver um, piece of metal over it, just so you can see what's going on a bit better. So with the um, lines and the bars and things on the camera, don't always look great. Um, I'm just going to roll in a, some of the background to start with. So I'm uh, number 35. I'm just putting quite a bit of it in there. A bit of lilac. Bit of this orange colour. So a little bit different. And some blue. Right, let's get out a roller up and see what we get. So we all know we end caustic, as soon as you start moving it and messing with it, you never quite know what you're gonna get. I've got my hot plate on a little tiny bit too hot, and some of you will be able to tell that are experienced in uh, using your hot plates. If you turned it down a little bit, it will not take it long to cool down a bit. There we go, so I've got a nice sky there. Quite happy with that actually. Right, next I want some wax in there to manipulate around to try and create some buildings using sponges and bits and pieces. So all the picture is going to be tints, tones and shades of blues and purples and that orangey colour. I'm just going to put quite a bit of that in next. And you'll see that like these lighter colours to take move the wax out of the way really like cuts through some quite interesting marks and things really and I'm going to take this white block sponge it's out of the sponge pack um, sold here at Encaustic Art Plus Etsy store and Amazon store um, they're in there, they're in little packs of four sponges, there's two round shapes um, made out of the same stuff and then one like this and one like this. So I'm just going to use this to push some of the wax up and around and it'll wipe some away and add some in it'll give some quite strange definition really but you'll see it sort of will give the appearance of skyscraper type buildings really basic cityscape starting to come together quite enjoying this And you can see I've left loads of wax down here. And that's because I'm going to put some buildings in front. Now some people have described these in the past as pint pots lined upon a bar. But whatever you see is fine. If you like what you see, that's brilliant. 
The next bit is going to be this foreground area here. And again, I'm just going to keep with the same colours as I had before in my sky. I'm just going to reflect those down here. And I'm going to be rollering in, sort of level with the bottom of my buildings. Start rollering in first and just see what we get. While I'm at it, I'm just going to whiz off the corner of the heat proof tape just so it catches that corner. Let's just slip and just find it all work out in the end. So it is quite a simple design, really, but quite effective. So we can start adding a bit of detail. We can use a stronger blue. Quite randomly. Touch on the blocks representing some detail within the buildings. Taking the block again, popping a few shadows with the edge of it, just pulling down and make a few reflections in the water. Don't have to be perfect, just gives that idea. I hope you've enjoyed watching that one. Something a little bit different. There we go. Like I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Something just a little bit different. Happy painting everyone. And we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.